Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous monstera plant and the planter it sits in. We'll be using some very simple supplies including paper and real dirt. Let's get started. For the leaves, I'll be using ordinary sketchbook paper. It's thicker than printer paper but thin enough to create a realistic leaf. For the color, I'll be using this gorgeous set of Arteza alcohol ink markers. This is the 120 pack and it has every color of the rainbow. Because alcohol ink will saturate paper, I first place our sketchbook paper on a scrap sheet. Then I grab these 7 green and yellow colors. I'll have the names listed in the description box below. As you can see, these markers come with a broad chisel end and a pointy liner end. I'll be using the chisel side to lay down the base layer. I add some light green, dark green, and yellow. Unlike ordinary markers, these will blend as you add layers. So go slow and build up the coverage. I won't go crazy with the blending right now because this is just the base layer. The marker saturated the paper so you don't have to color both sides. I fold the paper into fours and draw a heart that's about 1 inch diameter. Add some tiger stripes to each side. The more random the stripes, the more realistic it'll look. Cut that out with an X-Acto knife. You'll notice that each leaf will have a different color based on where it came from. We definitely want that variation. Now cut out the tiger stripes. For even more variation, I make small additional cuts on each leaf. Now let's add detailing. Hold each leaf in place with a piece of masking tape. I start by adding dark green around the edges of the leaf. Then add medium green to blend the harsh lines out. These markers blend so well and it's so much cleaner than using paint. Finally, add yellow towards the center to really blend the colors out. For the veining, I'll be using this white gel pen. Add a line down the center and then out towards each section. To blur and dull those lines, add some more of that same yellow to the top of the gel pen. Because Monstera leaves are glossy, I'll be adding some Mod Podge on top. This is optional based on the type of leaf you're making. The Mod Podge also adds a nice texture. Once that's done, flip the leaf around and do the same on the other side. With both sides complete, take a thin skewer and curl the edges of the leaf. Then fold it down the center line. Next up are the stems. I take some thin 24 gauge wire. To paint it, I'll be using a mix of green and yellow nail polish. Nail polish sticks way better to metal than acrylic paint wet. While the polish is still wet, stick a leaf on top of it. Snip off the excess wire, leaving about 4 to 5 inch stem. Bend the top slightly over a marker and we're ready to arrange these. For the planter itself, I start with a piece of foam board. Draw a 1 inch circle and cut it out. Then grab some twine or rope. Add a drop of glue to the center of the circle and glue the end of the rope down. Then I twirl the rope around the foam adding glue as I go. Once you reach the end of the foam board, you can begin moving up the sides. Add the rope on top of each layer building the height of the planter. Once you're happy with the height, snip off the end of the rope. Super easy basket planter. 
Now I just add a drop of E6000 glue to the end of each stem and stick it into the foam. Keep adding leaves of different heights until you're satisfied with how full it looks. I made these two tiny leaves without tiger stripes to go on the bottom of the basket. They're meant to look like new leaves. For the dirt itself, I'll be using these sea starters. It's technically real dirt, but it's a bit more coarse and fibrous, so it's easier to work with. I put it in a container with a tiny bit of water. I only add enough water to allow it to expand enough for me to break it apart. Then I lay it all out to dry. While that dries, let me show you how to make another basket. This time, I'll be using cardboard instead of foam board. I started the same way at the base. As I move up the planter, I widen the diameter. Then I narrow it again as we move towards the top. To make some simple handles, I add a thin skewer across the top and keep adding rope around the circumference. Pull the skewer out once the glue is dry and you have your handles. Super easy. For a more modern look, I add a band of white paint across the bottom. Now that our dirt has dried, we can add it to our plant. I squeeze some glue into the bottom and spoon in the dirt. You can use regular Elmer's white glue for this. I keep doing that in layers until I get to the top of the planter. Nothing looks more like dirt than real dirt. That's it. This miniature house plant is all done. You can use the same techniques to make any type of plant you like. Just like in real life, plants add so much life and decor to any room. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.